welcome to O2 Inside Line Live, where we're coming to you live from Six Ways in Worcester as England prepare to take on the USA. I'm Eleanor Roper and I'm joined by Rachel Burford and Dylan Hartley. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's great to be here. Good to be here in windy corner at Six Ways. It's freezing! Ways. <laughs> it always put us in the coldest spot. It is freezing. Why don't you start, Rachel, by telling us what have you made of the Red Roses so far? Oh, I think they've had a really impressive campaign, you know, three from three, and you can't look past the opposition that they've had, the Black Ferns beating them convincingly, the same with Canada last week, and, and, you know, I think they're just going to kick on again today. It's been really, really impressive, but knowing the players, knowing Simon Middleton, they'll want to kick on again this weekend. Yeah. Dylan, what kind of a challenge do the USA present? Because we know, in theory, they're not as much of a test as, for example, the Black Ferns. Yes, yeah, there's, there's no disrespect to them as a team, but I suppose this team now, the Red Rose, has been the best in the world. That's setting the bar higher and higher and wanting to improve. So I think, you know, Canada last week actually tested them quite early on in that game. And I think when you're playing uh, on paper a, a perceived lesser team, you can be lulled into thinking it's going to be easy. So I think the challenge for this team today, with a lot of changes, which I'm sure we're going to talk about, is to actually just start the game well. Focus on the next minute, just do the basic things really, really well, and I'm sure the result will take care of itself. We know the team aren't taking it for granted. We were lucky enough to catch up with Alex Matthews. This is what she had to say about their weekend camp. We're very excited to be joined now by Alex Matthews. Hi, Alex. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How Tell us you? about your week in camp, because we've seen some great footage of you training with the South African team. Yeah, it was a great great having them on board, sort of a different stimulus, because we're used to just training against each other. So, no, that was really challenging. A great opportunity for both teams, as they're in our pool as well for the World Cup. Looks like you had a good time. Yeah, no, it's good. They bring so much energy. Um, so, yeah, they're playing under-20s today, which will be a good game, and then Barbarians in a few weeks. So, no, it's great prep for them too. So if we look back last week, Alex, obviously it's a bit of a challenging start to get into the game against Canada. Has there been anything that you guys are focusing on, particularly this week going into the game today? It sounds really cliche, but we are just focusing on our own standards. Um, we've had quite a few changes in the squad, so trying to keep our sort of own momentum, own tempo, finish on a high. Um, we want to play a bit more, but we've got to earn the right first, so we, sh we shall see. Berth, you've just taken my question. I was going to ask you, <laughs> you've you, you just been the Black Ferns back to back. You take on Canada, who is a massive physical opposition for you. You come into this game, is it about setting your own standards now as a world number one team leading the way? Do you just keep raising the bar? Well, definitely. It's entirely on our own standards. We've got our own percentages and targets we want to hit. So it's, it's all about us. Um, and yeah, just keeping the momentum going, keep pushing the tempo and then see yeah, see if the outcome comes. And what, what about changes? You, you, you alluded to changes before. So many changes in the team. How do you make sure people aren't going out there to kind of uh, maybe force personal agendas, put their hands up for selection. How much do you make that about the team? Well, we've been really fortunate. We've had quite a large training squad, so it's been quite fluid. Um, but it's, I think that's part of the values of being a Red Rose is the team first ethos. So um, I think it'll just come natural to them. Brilliant. Good luck today. Thank well, you. Well, yeah, you mentioned nine changes. It's going to be a bit of a different side. We look forward to watching. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Alex. <laughs> Thank you. Great to hear about camp this week. Now let's have a look at the squad for today. And Simon Middleton's making nine changes to the squad that we saw last week. What do you make of the side that he's putting out today? Well, I think you've got to highlight, you know, nine changes, but still a very, very strong squad. Um, it's really great to see some players getting an opportunity, like Harry Millen Mills, Maud Muir, getting a first start um, of her career, which is excellent. But also, you know, someone like Sarah Beckett coming back from injury, there's still lots of experience with that. But, you know, it's exciting that you can make that many changes and see how this squad go. And I think that's really what Simon wants to see. He wants to see some of the young players stepping up, showing what they can do, you know, with out some of the big wigs around. Yeah, is this an opportunity for Simon Middleton to experiment? I mean, he, he's been experimenting this whole sort of autumn. I thought after beating the, the Black Ferns in Exeter, he'd stick with that team. But the following week, we see a new team, we see major changes, we see a new captain, we've seen a third captain today, we see more Muir at tight end, and Sarah Byrne was a player of the match last week. So it's almost outrageous the sort of depth that he has. The one person I'm looking forward to, and I'm going to talk about back play birth, is, is Abby Dow at the back at 15. We obviously see her on the wing a lot, she plays uh, for fullback at her club, so to see her with more time and space on the ball today could be really exciting. I mean, what does that tell us about the depth of this size? It's disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> but do, do you know what? It's, it's credit to the Prem 15s that the, the girls, the ladies, have got time that, to develop skills. They can train full time. The, the, the standard of competition is brilliant, and Middleton's got a, a hell of a problem on his hands of who to pick, basically. While we're talking about Simon Middleton, we've got to ask you about World Rugby because they've announced the sort of finalists for their awards. You've been involved 
involved in, in in selecting, but he's shortlisted for Coach of the Year. Yeah, so obviously Simon's uh, been selected for nominee for that, but I was involved in Try of the Year. Um, really good amount of tries being scored across the women's game, but you know Abby Dow was an absolute standout, and that's what's, what's quite exciting about her playing at fullback today. But she's got the ball in a bit of space; she can really cause trouble. So really looking forward to her being in that position today. Yeah, it's an exciting one. No bribes, no. No bribes. <laughs> yeah, with you being no. on the judge. I mean, you, you're sitting on panels. You, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, not good friends, no. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about, Dylan. <laughs> we do have a couple of debuts today. Talk us through. What does it feel like to be making your England debut? It's a while ago. I used to play in black and white, so it's a very, very long time ago. But do, do you know what? It's, it's a huge day, and I like the way that it's built up now, and the way that families are involved. Because every player I played with. They all, first and foremost, wherever they're from, they always play to, to represent their families. And then I think an extension of that is their communities, their grassroots rugby clubs, the people that, all their junior coaches that got them to that. So it's almost like a, a, a huge occasion to that point. But Berth knows once you're there, that's where the hard work begins again. So your first cap's amazing, but once you've had that, you want to go get 50 more. Yeah, exciting. Well, we look forward to watching today. Thank you both very much. Now, if you want to stay across everything that's been going on in ha inside camp, there's plenty more content over on the England Rugby social channels. But do come back at full time where we'll be joined by three of the Red Roses.